Mendel's very important for me, actually. I'm am a geneticist, and um, Mendel is my hero. Um, the work that he did in Bruno, mostly in um, isolation, was an extraordinary step forward for science. One of the um, great um, scientific biological discoveries of all time. Um, and if you read his or original papers, um, they are examples of, a, of brilliant experimentation combined with brilliant logic. So um, I'm a great admire, admirer of, uh, of, of Mendel, but also he's influenced me personally because uh, I use genetics, uh, I've used classical genetics, which he essentially invented um, for, for my research, and um, I've found him really um, a, a great person um, to think about and to look up to. Mendel disappeared, really, from 1865 till the beginning of the 20th century. So for 30 years, he wasn't really visible. And then he came back um, in an extraordinary fashion when three or four other research groups essentially replicated what he had done and then realized that he had actually anticipated them um, 30 years um, previously. And as a consequence of that, the science of genetics was born. And it's no exaggeration to say that Mendel was the father of the science of genetics. And that dominated biology throughout the entire 20th century and now into the 21st century. So the impact that Mendel has had on biology and on science generally, on understanding how living organisms work, on using that understanding to promote um, a, a human well-being through health and through agriculture and so on, has been absolutely enormous. Quite often when we're talking about inheritance, we use the term Mendelian genetics to describe um, what Mendel contributed. And he's really simply enshrined there in, um, in this great new biological science of genetics as the person who simply set everything off and everything running. Mendel's work, he talked about it, he published two papers about it in, in actually quite good journals. Um, it disappeared for a while, then came back. And I think what's nice about this uh, celebration after 150 years is that it, in some ways, perhaps compensates for that early eclipse for 30, 35 years, um, when he had no recognition, and of course he had no recognition for this work in his own lifetime, so it was entirely posthumous. And I think it's really, really important to have this celebration, partly to recognize that, and partly to recognize the huge impact that genetics has had on biology and biomedicine, impact that derives directly from Grigor Mendel himself. Well, this celebration, which I'm really looking forward to, um, is, is a combination of things, isn't it? I mean, it, it promotes the science, it reminds everybody of um, this great science that was done in Middle Europe, in Bruno, and the importance that it has even today. But it combines it with um, more cultural activities, with music, which also, of course, is so strong in, in Middle Europe. And I think it will be very nice to see what the composer does that reflects the science and also reflects music as well.